someone thinking about our mothers who set aside this day to celebrate you. Amen. So happy Mother's Day to you. We definitely want to give a special shout out to the leading lady of Kingdom Impact Center on this Mother's Day. Amen. None other than our very own lady, Christina Roberts. Come on, let's make happy.
And man, thank you, you may have your seats on today. We are grateful again for being a part of this great experience that is called Kingdom Impact Center. At this time, we want to give you an opportunity to be a part of everything that is going on and coming up on this week and throughout this month and the beginning of next month. We want you to be able to be a part of it. So whatever you use to take care of keeping up with the announcements, whether it's your phone, your tablet, whatever it is, we ask that you take it out at this time as we share with you the upcoming events of Kingdom Impact Center. And then on today, again, we say Happy Mother's Day. Don't forget that we will be sponsoring the Mother's Day drawing. We will be going live again today at 3 o'clock for all those who submitted your name. On the live, remember there will be a drawing today at 3 o'clock. Those who are watching on Facebook Live, if you have not seen that flyer or you were not able to watch that live, take the opportunity, amen, to go and to take a look at that. We want to be a blessing to a mother on today. So that will take place today at 3 o'clock. Also, our media department is asking for a few of our mothers, if you will stay behind for just a few minutes after service on today, we want to do a Mother's Day photo shoot with you, so you want to please make sure that you hang on and stay behind for just a few minutes on today to be a part of that photo shoot. Don't forget that our 365 Impact Cafe is continuing with our tutoring, and our last session will be on this coming Tuesday from 5 to 7. And then to bring our young people out for a time of learning and growth on this coming Tuesday. And then midweek service will be on this Wednesday night. And God has been using this man of God to bring forth an awesome word, amen, on Wednesday night through our Bible education. So we encourage you to be here on this coming Wednesday night at 7 o'clock for our midweek service. Amen. We are very excited about this next announcement. Kingdom Impact Center presents Graduation Day 2023 on Sunday, May the 28th at 11 a.m. where we will celebrate our three graduates of Kingdom Impact Center. Come on, make some noise for our graduates. Amen. We have graduated on this year our very own our Minister of Music, amen, our Minister Shermaine Ellis, who will be graduating on this coming Friday, May the 19th, from Dalton Jones in Atlanta, Georgia. Amen. Can we celebrate Minister Nellis on and on today? Amen. We have our two high school graduates, amen, Brother Tyreek Sutton, who will be graduating from Dallas High School on May the 26th. And our sister Astasia Roberts, who will be graduating from Miles High School on May the 27th. So congratulations to all of our graduates. And we, your church family, we want to celebrate you. And then so on behalf of our leader and everyone, we will be celebrating you on the fourth Sunday as we have graduation day 2023 here at Kingdom Impact Center. And then we encourage and invite everyone to be a part of this celebration for our graduates. We're inviting and encouraging you to wear your school colors, whether you want to rep your high school that you graduated from or whether you want to rep your college you graduated from. For our young people, rep your school that you are attending, your school colors. We just want to celebrate our graduates. We will also have chairs and they will sit out front and you will have an opportunity to be a blessing to each of them on the first Sunday because graduating from high school and college is a major milestone and we want them to know that we are behind them, we support them, and we love them. So be a part of Graduation Day 2023 here at Kingdom Impact Center. Also, we want to say that our 365 Impact Cafe is excited about our first Friday event that is coming up on the first Friday in June, which is June the 2nd. And then it is Miracle Bingo. It will be open to everyone in the community, definitely our KIC family. We want you to come out, be a part, tell somebody, go to the 365 Impact Cafe um, Facebook page and share Flyer. So let the community know that 365 Impact Cafe is alive and moving forward, and we are here to serve the community. That again is on the first Friday. It will be from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So everyone, be a part of that great event here at Kingdom.
them impact singers. Also, we want to say amen on behalf of Brother Tyreek Sutton. He wants to thank everybody who came out for the prom watch on last night to be a part of celebrate his senior prom on last night. Also, on behalf of our, our prophetess Paige Berry, thank you to all the ladies who came out to help um, celebrate and push in the Mother's Day brunch on yesterday. What an awesome time and event that we had on yesterday. So thank you again. And then let's keep all of these announcements in mind and govern yourselves accordingly. And then as we said and as we often say, because God is the greatest power, that means we shall never be defeated.
not only in the natural, God, but those who are also spiritual figures, God, of mothers, oh God. We honor them, God, for their sacrifice, God, for their surrender, God, God, for their obedience to you, oh God. We pray that today, oh God, God, that you will agree on this Mother's Day of the Earth, that you will be in relationships, God, with those who don't have the best caliber of relationships, God, with their siblings, God, with their seeds, oh God. We pray today, oh God, that today will be a day of reconciliation, oh God. Men, God, that are broke, God, men, those that are broken today, God. And Father, we decree and declare this service, God, that you will have your way. Breathe in this place today, God, a fresh wind. Release fresh fire and fresh oil in this place, oh God. I pray that today that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, God, will be found acceptable in thy sight, God. I pray today, God, that you will open us up today, God, to receive thy fresh manner, God. Open our hearts and our spirits of God to hear God and to receive God what you will release into this place. So today, God, have your way. Let your splendor be revealed in this place. And it is in Jesus' name we declare these things to be so. Amen. Somebody declare the word amen. Amen. Be seated in the presence of God. Amen. We want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers. Amen. We bless God for you. Amen. For your sacrifice. Amen. And everything that's required of you to be who you are. Amen. In God on today. We thank you. Amen. For being who you are. Amen. How many know there's no love like a mother's love? Amen. I'm a father and I can say that. Amen. But thank God for the mother's love. Amen. That's truly, amen, original. Amen. No other love compares, amen, to the love, amen, that, amen, of a mother, especially for a son. Amen. Amen. A son, amen, loves his mother. Amen. Today I want to, amen, jump into my topic. I give honor to, amen, every one of you in your respectful places. Amen. Let's go ahead and jump into the word of the Lord. Amen. Let's thank God, amen, before I move forward. Amen. Let's thank God, amen, for that awesome introduction. Amen. My sister Tamaya. Amen. Amen. Bless my heart. Amen. I had to look around and say, Lord, who is she talking about? Is that me? Or is she introducing another? Amen. Amen. But I'm very humble. Amen and appreciative, amen, by such a dynamic introduction. Amen, I pray that I live up to that, amen, that introduction today. Amen, thank God today, amen, for, amen, my niece, amen, that song that I saw, that song, Sister Christiana. Let's celebrate, amen, that gift in the body of Christ. Amen, amen, everyone, we thank God for my wife being here. Doesn't she look so lavish? I want to minister, amen, briefly today, amen, I'm going to let you out, amen, amen, to get and celebrate with your mothers, amen, and your parents and spiritual mothers or however you choose to celebrate this Sunday, amen, today some people are without a mother, amen, we pray that God strengthen you during this time, amen, if you, amen, for the sake of emphasis, just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, yeah. Apostle Roberts is going to preach a topic, Entitled, get your head in the game. Would you look at somebody that feel like talking, amen, and say a little louder than you did the first time, amen, the man of God is going to preach about, get your head in the game. Tell somebody that's sitting, amen, behind you, get your head in the game. Amen. You can be seated. Let us introduce, amen, this topic today. Amen. Get your head in it. Amen. This is, amen, a statement that is used, amen, most often in sports. Amen. It's used in families. Amen. It's used in particular moments. Amen. Where it is evident that you are physically in one place, but mentally in another. I believe I want to say it again. When you hear the term or the statement, amen, to get your head, amen, in it or put your head in the game, amen, most of the times that individual that is making this statement, amen, to another individual is stating, amen, that I see you physically in one aspect, amen, but mentally you are in another. In other words, you are not operating at your full capacity. You are not operating at your full potential. Is there anybody in here? Or they may not be in here, but they may be online they can declare, amen, that I know there is more in me, amen, than what I'm using right now. I know there's a greater anointing, I know there's an entrepreneur in me, I 
I know there's a higher position. I know there's a mandate on me, amen, but I'm not operating, amen, at my full capacity. And oftentimes when you are not operating at your full capacity, it is an indication that there is something greater, amen, that your mind is focused on, amen, than where you are. But you must understand, amen, when I coach, amen, the team is losing, amen, during halftime, I'm walking through this. Amen, they will tell them, hey, so I used to play football. And they will say, hey, amen, you need to get your head in the game, Roberts. You need to get your head in it. So they will mean it, amen, that you will lose it. But you must also understand that it is a dangerous thing, amen, to be physically in one place and mentally in another. Am I preaching already? I say that I am. I say it is a dangerous thing, amen, to be physically in one place but mentally in another. You don't understand people of God. From Genesis and Revelation, when you find a man or a woman or a girl that is in one place physically, but in another place, a man physically, but in another place mentally, what you must understand is that the enemy thinks it, that the enemy is going to attack you. Because the enemy can recognize that you're in one place, but you're also in another. Tell somebody, get your head in the game. No, y'all ain't talking to say, get your head in the game. This term, amen, this statement is used when you are struggling to function where you are because of the position, amen, or because of where you are mentally. Uh, when your head is not in it, then you are not functioning, amen, like you ought to. Amen, what are some of the signs that your head, amen, is not in the game, that your head is not into what you have been called to do? What are some signs that your head, amen, that your head is not where it should be? Amen, what are the number one signs, and I'm moving very quickly to is that I need for you to understand that it is evident that your head is not in it when you are losing. The Bible lets us know that Jesus made this declaration that I wish above all that you prosper, even as your soul prosper, and I want you to be in good health. I need to talk to about 15,000 of y'all today and let y'all know in this amen cathedral today, amen, that there are some of you that you can identify that I tonight, I said it earlier, that you know there's more to you, but insecurity and fear and doubt and reservation and what you are going through in your personal life, amen, has you living amen, in your comfort zone but I want to know God today that today is a day of deliverance and today is a day of breakthrough, I come to tell you that God is shifting your season and you are getting ready to bounce back from a season that you feel like I've lost everything If it's you're in a battle, 
when you find yourself in a battle. Because the truth of the matter is that as long as I'm winning, you can see, some of you only consider yourself in a battle is when you're losing. You say, oh, I'm in warfare when it seems challenging and when it seems hard, but when you're winning, amen, you cannot identify that you're in a battle that went over somebody's head. I say, you can only identify that I'm in a battle as long as, amen, I'm losing. But what about when you're winning? Can you still identify that even though I'm winning, I'm still in a battle? Yeah. <laughs> 
doesn't look like it. I may be broken. I may be in despair. I may be in the lowest season of my life. But tell your neighbor I can't look like it. Uh, that's why David said, I will bless. Uh, I Yeah. <laughs> 
maker. But this is blessing you. Would you share it right now? Go to King of the Those who are online, would you just hit those hard buttons for me real quick? Come on, I need about 1,500 of y'all that's sitting here today. Oh, God, I need y'all just to go and share it right now. Go on your social media page. And tell them you got to get this word. Oh, it's time to put your head in the game. I need about a few. I need a hundred of fifty shares on this on this live today. Anybody being blessed today? Anybody want to put your head back in it? It says, "What good? Why you share it? I'm gonna repeat the last part." Yes, sir. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're supposed to have a head. That's right, that's right. But you don't have a head. Thank God. Lord, help me, Jesus, to put you here. How can you leave you know, without your head? How can you function? How can you think even I'm getting ahead of myself? How can you even move? Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Stagnation is also a sign that I have lost my head. Oh God, help me, Jesus. Tell somebody, put your head in the game. So now you must understand again that the enemy desires your head, not your feelings, not your emotions. It meant not these other things, it is your head. Because this is what happens, and I'm echoing this point again. If you lose your head, you lose your life. I'm going to let somebody get there right now. If you lose, thank you. If you lose your head, you lose your life. That means if I let my situation get the best of me, then I find myself losing everything. Come on here, help me today. Have you ever been through a broken marriage, a failed way of a divorce in your life, or ever been cheated on or whatever the case may be, or fired from your job and you find yourself broken, you don't want to eat, you are this, you're losing weight, or you are overeating, and then you are out of your normal element. Why? Because if you lose your head, you find yourself losing your life. And God said, tell them today, sir, that I need you to put, tell them to put their head in the game. Put your head in the game. So some of you, I'm trying to share on my social media and my Instagram for you. I'm so bad with me for just a minute. I'm trying to give God a hand for you. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I've lost your head. Uh, but some of you are in the process of losing your head. Uh, but the good thing about me, uh, if you hear what I'm saying today, uh, if you're listening to me even in Africa, uh, California, Afghanistan, uh, if you hear what I'm saying today, you're able to hear the words uh, that are coming out of my mouth. Uh, and excuse me because I feel like preaching. Uh, and it's time to tell a show up. Oh, you 
Pastor Babe. I know you want to do Huh? Step down there, Pastor Babe. Uh, now, uh, come on, run, 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 run. Come on, come on, come on. You pray about stuff. I want you to lay your hands on Thursday and go to Harper and declare your little season. You will never leave that place in your life again.
I feel that I see, I see money coming to you. I don't know how God is going to write it to you, but I heard God say, I got money coming to you. I don't know what life has been like for you before this, but I hear God say, reset. He said, you're here because you're ready for it. He said, you're here because you're tired. You're tired of your loss. And you're ready to embrace your needs. And the, my God, she already went down that room. My God. God said today, when his prophet laid her hands on he said, everything is about to be reset. I'm changing your mind. I'm changing your appetite. I'm changing your focus. I'm changing your attitude. I'm changing those that's around you. My God, your friends. He said, I'm changing your connections. He said, I ain't going to let you be around them because they're not a good influence. Brothers, lay your hands on my head and I'll tell you that. Let's not die, I say.
Lord just say that not so that that are that are comfortable in your life right now. He said, I'm bringing you out of comfortable places. He's bringing you out of comfortable places because you can't function into a full capacity when you're comfortable. I can't work efficiently when I'm comfortable. I need to be in a work environment. Y'all don't hear me. But I'm in the comfort of my home. I can't function. So sometimes I got to come to the church at work. I got to go to my office and do, get some things done. God is bringing a few of y'all out of your comfort place. How many know that you're comfortable? Go ahead and be honest and say, I know I'm comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm comfortable. I don't feel no pressure. But God's getting ready to bring me out. He's getting ready to bring you out with a strong hand. We can go on and on. But I'm coming out of this comfortable place. I'm coming out of this comfortable place. Woman of God with this mask on back here. The second one in the black. Right there. Yeah, yeah. I hear God saying, tell her. I'm bringing you out of the comfortable place. Yeah. I don't know you, and I don't know what God has allowed light to bring you. But I hear God say, I'm healing. None of the disease or nothing. He said, I'm healing. I hear God say, tell her, I'm healing her. I don't know in detail, but he said, I'm healing her. And you're getting ready to recover. Excuse me. He said, you're getting ready to recover from the hurt of the broken place. He said, tell you today that it's over mentally and emotionally. God said to tell you to let it go. He said, let it go. You're going to understand sooner than later why God allowed it to be what it has been. He said, but I'm healing you. And the Lord says to tell you, and I know you don't touch women unless I just wear a couple, but I know them. But I feel that I need to lay my hands upon you as God's apostle today. And I want to lay my hands on you because when I lay my hands on you, I'm activating what I'm prophesying to you. And I want to declare over your life today, young lady, that your life will never be the same. Every place in your life that you have not had peace, God said, I'm giving it to you today. He said, I'm healing you from the hurt. I'm healing you from the brokenness. Even the things that want to cause you to be frustrated and angry. He said, and even sad. The Lord says, tell you all of it. I'm calling you to overcome it. Overcome it. Overcome it. And so when I lay my hands on you without even knowing who you are in the natural, but God knows exactly who you are. He said, tell us today that it's over. It's over. And I charge you and encourage you to allow it to be over. Because sometimes God tells us that it's over, but we want to hold on to it. But when I lay my hands on you today, young lady, it's over. It's over. There's nothing that the enemy can do about it. Somebody says, when God says, that sells it. And so today, I'm applying my hands on you. And God said today, I'm just going to gently lay my hands on you. It's over. Hey, hey, hey. It's over.
Come on, I need you all. Amen. Thank you, Evangelist. I see you. Amen. Amen. Remember, you can give on Cash App. You can give using your credit card. You can give cash, check, however you want to give. Amen. We want you to sow and give into this place on today. Amen. Everybody that has that $100 seed or that $50 seed, will you come from wherever you are and bring it at this time? Will you come from every direction and bring it at this time? Amen.